Welcome back to Movie Mo Show. Today we are going to review the drama film Emancipation. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We post multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. The Haitian slave Peter flees to freedom in Louisiana in the 1860s. Peter is depicted in the opening scene knelt in front of his wife while seated on the floor. As he washes his wife's feet, his children are gathered around him, intently listening to what he has to say. Peter is told to come on boy, let's go by a bunch of white males who appear in the doorway unexpectedly. Peter fights them off after they dragged him from the house, but one of the men eventually aims a gun at his wife's head. He then informs the men that he is going to walk. Then Peter receives a blow to the back of the head, is placed in the rear of a cage on the back of a carriage, and is driven away from his loved ones to an unidentified location. He yells at his wife and kids, telling them to stay together because he will return. On his trek, he encounters slaves toiling by the side of the road and slaves severed heads hanging on poles. 9. He's a railroad employee in Clinton, Louisiana. The white bosses torture the slaves with unspeakable violence. If they attempt to flee, they are whipped, attacked by dogs, branded, and dragged by horses. If they stop working out of tiredness, they are shot. Peter advises the slaves to pray and have faith in God. One day, Peter decides enough is enough and joins forces with other slaves to fight back against the white masters. The white men on horses and the thick-headed dogs pursue them as they flee and run away. One slave gets attacked by the dogs because he can't swim over a river. After being set free, he attempts to cross the river before being shot. The three men who were left divided and went their separate ways. Peter had numerous near-death experiences with being discovered but he always manages to escape the captors. One of the white army enslavers finds him when he gets close to Baton Rouge and is ready to shoot him when he is shot and knocked out. Black army officers intervene to save Peter, who is then transferred to a hospital to heal. In order to free his family, he enlists in the military. He was captured on camera, and it was promised that it would be circulated throughout the world in an effort to stop slavery. He discovers his wife and kids, all of whom are free from slavery. Over 4 million slaves are free by 1865. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.